Well, so our daughter's a middle school teacher. I think we've talked about that before. I believe there is a special place in heaven for her and those like her. So does uh, psychologist Kevin Lehman, author of Planet Middle School. And it is its own kind of world when they hit 6th, 7th, 8th grade. Pretty good title, Planet Middle School. It's like you open your door and an alien came in the front door. Right. Whatever. Yeah. But there's a lot of things going on in their little bodies and brains, and one of the big problems is this wide range of maturity. You have some who are 12 going on 9, and some who are 12 going on 20. Yeah, it's a perfect storm, number one. You got kids who are beginning to pull away. Yeah. You got parents who want to clamp down, you know, tighten up, and put the rules down. And it's, it's not rules, it's relationship. And you always have to keep the relationship in mind. The music's blaring down the hallway, okay? Right. My suggestion, go down, knock on the door, say, honey, uh, could you turn that up? What? <laughs> could you turn it up? And the kid turns it up a little bit, say, louder. And, and, then, and then simply say, I, you know, so, I know you're busy now, but sometimes I'd love to talk to you about that group. You must really love them to play that music that loud. Well, the point is, you're going to have a relationship with this little alien? Again, and I think you give them pointers on, you know, don't dog other kids at school. Yeah. And the it, monster internet, that's a whole other story. That's another story. But, but parents, in spite of everything we hear about peer pressure, even when they're 12 and 13, parents are still an enormous influence. More powerful than peers or not? More powerful than a locomotive. I'm telling you. Really? Uh, parents sell themselves short. When things aren't going right, you say to a kid, hey, I'm very unhappy with what just went down here. You look them in the eye, walk away. You're raking coals over those kids. They don't like it. But I think the key in Planet Middle School is do you get your kids to be grateful? Kids aren't grateful for anything today, Tim, nothing. So how about getting kids in service to other people in the neighborhood, whether it's raking leaves, taking garbage down for an elderly person, whatever. Kids need the feeling of doing things for other people without getting paid. Right. And it's missing in America today. Um, it, it, it's the time when uh, we hear about a lot about bullying. Is bullying, first of all, Overemphasize it. Is it one of those media creations or is it a real problem? And if so, if you're a parent, what do you do? How do you help your kid who may be a victim of bullying or a bully? Well, I think we do overreact to bullying. Let's start with that. Is it a real problem? Yes, it is. But in the old days, you used to say, stand up to the bully. The problem is today the bully has guns, the bully has a knife. Yeah. You've got to be careful how you do it. You bring it to the teacher's attention if it's in school, then the administrator. But the key thing is to pull your kid aside and say, honey, I'm so proud of how you handle that situation. Your kid needs strokes. He needs direction. It's tough. And check this out. The one person your kid does not want to be in middle school is guess who? Themselves. Right. They're so fragile. Yep. Yep. You're going to find a link to Dr. Lehman's website. More wisdom on uh, our website with a link, fox4news.com. Thank you, as always. Great to see you. We've got more to come here on.